Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In the last two videos, I have clearly shown you that what is the purpose of is billable attribute and let's say how to go ahead and check the build size of a specific event that exists in your log analytics workspace. However, there is a dedicated table also which is created that gives you all these insights. So in this video, we are actually going to see how exactly the sizing and billing part of Azure Log Analytics Workspace works fundamentally, okay? Now, these are two different components altogether for the workspace itself. The very first one is sizing itself, wherein the actual data ingestion cost is derived by how much data ingested in GB on a daily basis, okay? So again, this is something which is calculated by is billable attribute and build size. And then from a billing perspective, the total amount of data which is getting ingested and then what is the table plan, whether it is analytical or it is uh, basic or it is auxiliary. Okay. Now, in my last example, I was showing you something which was related to common security log table where I was showing you that for each and every record that is getting ingested in a specific table altogether, there will be these two columns which exist, okay? However, there is a dedicated table itself termed as usage table, and that typically shows you the amount of data ingested in every table for a span of one hour, and then a dedicated entry is added in usage table itself for the ingestion which shows the ingested data size in MB. Now, what do I mean by this? That all the tables where the data ingestion is happening, there is a process which is going to calculate the amount of data ingested in last one hour for each table. And this result is something which is saved for you in the usage table itself, okay? So let me show you this in action and then things will make a lot more sense, okay? So let's say if I go ahead and just run this command of usage, you will see I will get multiple entries over here for each and every table. And it will actually break down the data ingestion for each and every hour. So let's say I want to know the data ingestion for a specific table for last 48 hours. And the table name is, let's say, where solution is contains let's say or let's say where data type not solution data type that contains threat intelligence indicator okay so let's say if i go ahead and run this i'll get to know that how much data is ingested in each and every hour you can see it's already you know each and every entry is already an r specific so if i'll go ahead and show you now the data ingestion basically this is what the quantity of the data which has been ingested and that's two and that is two in mb okay now if i talk about one single entry or one single record of each and every log analytics workspace then the build size value which typically comes is actually in bytes however when you check here in the usage table, it's actually megabytes and this is how it is. Now let's say I want to know that how much data ingestion has happened for each and every table that exists, okay? In last 48 hours, I can just say data ingestion in MB and then I can basically sum the quantity by again data type so if i'll run this query you can see it is showing me the actual data ingestion that's happening for each and every table that exists okay now there is one more very important aspect that i quickly wanted to show you folks from this particular section itself because there is a free workbook which is available let me show you this on a different tab okay so let's say if i go ahead and open my same workspace which is this one which is con sentinel and then if i go ahead and click on workbooks okay 
you can see there is a dedicated table available oh, sorry a workbook available for usage table itself okay so here if i go ahead and you can see all these different tables and everything every different set of option is available over here and if i'll go ahead and keep on selecting them then this entire section will get refreshed and i can get all the data available over here okay so this usage table is something that you can refer to apart from performing all the deep analysis that we have shown in our last video which was basically related to is available and build size now when it comes to transformation the the actual part that we have to do this can be done in two different ways the very first one is from the table itself so for a specific table i can go ahead and create a transformation which will fundamentally create a dcr itself you can see i'm getting this option and the other option is to go ahead and create a dcr first and then use azure rest apis to populate these transform kql and that's exactly what we are going to see next we'll get started with table transformation itself and then we'll see how exactly we can create the advanced configuration which is more over related to dcr itself okay so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time